In terms of the performance, in terms of the, the units working together across the pitch, that has to be one of the most pleasing aspects of that day today. Yeah, I think it was a hard, uh, a hard fought victory, and I think with, within it, it showed the, uh, the resilience that we've been trying to build, the unity, uh, the togetherness, the distances, the the bravery at times of uh, being able to uh, to, uh, to defend the one 0 lead, and I saw it, and it's been said loads of times in football, good teams can win one 0 how important was it to back up Saturday and Tuesday with what happened today? Massive. I think it gives a, a massive impetus. I think it's finished off a very good week, uh, a very testing week. They've, they've seen the players physically and mentally tested. And I've got to say, they've, uh, they've accepted the challenge uh, and they've bought into the challenge and they faced it in the right way and they've got the rewards. Looking at the amount of crosses, deliveries, not just set pieces, but from free play put into the box, it's amazing we only got the one goal. Yeah, I think first half I thought we looked, uh, we, had, we had good momentum in the first half and I thought we were causing them problems. I thought, And again, as, as I said earlier to an, uh, another interview, that they came and tried showing us respect by changing their formation because they knew uh, how threatening we could be. Uh, and, and that shows the uh, already that teams that have got, uh, that had impetus last season, uh, are, being, are being prepared to change their style of play to try and uh, nullify ourselves. Teams like Plymouth, Port Vale, who have been restricted to, to long-range shots in most cases, that's a real move forward. A real, it shows real progress for this club. Well, again, uh, pe people sometimes can take the eye off. Yeah, well, they want to see entertaining, free-flowing, attacking football, and they want to see goal action uh, for us in the attacking third all the time. Um, yeah, that's how you win games. But like, like, like I say, today we won the game by having a solid unity at the back. And sticking with the same starting eleven, it, it could have been a case for having worked so hard on Tuesday to maybe change a few at least. But that's showing a, a real faith in what that momentum that you're trying to build. Yeah, well, there'll be some people say that, uh, that I uh, tinker with the team too much last season uh, and uh, an argument is there. But again, uh, there's no guarantees that the, the, the team on Tuesday will be exactly the same. I will pick what the team that I think uh, will get us three points. Um, and uh, I'm prepared to be brave and make changes and make decisions that I think are for the betterment of the football club, the football team and the players to go and gain uh, an opportunity to win football matches. That's what I get paid for. Um, so, yeah, and again, if it's the same team, uh, then again, it's a decision that I've made. Again, last season we heard so many times that we dominated and hadn't got the goal to go with it and ended up losing or drawing a game. It looks like it's going to be different this time round. Again, part of the recruitment is um, we've brought good characters, good men, good mentality, uh, but also good ability into the football club. Uh, and the pleasing thing is, no matter what happens, victories builds uh, momentum and builds team spirit. Cause people can say about socialising, doing this, doing that, that's how you get a, a good team spirit. You get team spirit out there uh, and in training in, uh, in the football environment. And I've got to say, the football environment that's been created by the players, by the staff, by the football club, uh, it's a pleasing environment to work in. Jabba Wabiro, he, he likes to have a, a smile on his face. What would it mean to him for, the, for that reaction when he, he took his top?